Arnie, can you just explain to me where we are right now? What's going on? Uh, we're in South Minneapolis. This is my uh, vacant piece of land. Yeah, I just got a call uh, on Wednesday that people were coming onto the land and setting up tents. So I was just calling the police and saying, hey, there just a lot of people are coming here. Over the weekend, there was just a lot of stuff happening here. They did put up that camera, I think, on Friday. There was somebody breaking into a building down the street, like just right over there. There was somebody breaking into the house next door. And then I think somebody OD'd last night. Today they kind of responded and they said, okay, come meet me here. Um, we'll escort you onto the property. You can put these signs up because I just didn't want anything to happen to me because I didn't know what was going to happen if I came. Not, people were not happy you were here. Yeah. I, I was hearing them saying comments towards you. Yeah. So I've lived in Minneapolis for 25 years. I'm a licensed real estate broker and a licensed builder. Basically after, you know, the pandemic and the George Floyd, you know, riots, riots, protests, whatever you want to call them, that's when everything really changed, you know, with Minneapolis. You know, the whole defund the police, abolish the police. I was blocks away from where George Floyd was killed and we experienced everything that was going on for those three, four days yeah. when the city was burning and it was just, uh, I don't know. There was a sense of like, they were just letting it happen for some reason. Yeah. And it's like, this is literally people's livelihoods. This is small businesses. They're burning down huge apartment buildings. They're burning down the police station. I mean, this is just ridiculous. But like, why didn't they just stop it? They're not being affected by this because they're, you know, if this was the governor's mansion, you think they would let this happen? No, they're not gonna, they're not gonna allow it if it's over there, you know, on one of their properties, but they're allowing it to happen here. So am I angry? Yes, absolutely. You know, um, and I'm sad that it does happen and it, it should stop. I think they should take responsibility and I think that they should change course. And I think a lot of these policies aren't helpful and I think it's hard for people to change course. It's hard to say, hey, I'm wrong about this and that's what I would like to see happen. I would like to just see this area be like how it was back, you know, before all this stuff happened. And, um, you know, yeah, I would like the city to just clean this up and everybody, I'm, I mean, I'm speaking for, not just me, I'm speaking for other people who on this block that are scared to speak out because I know dozens of people who feel the same way about yeah. about this that I do. And I don't know, it's just people are tired of it. And so that's what I wanna see happen. Yeah. I want them to change it. So we have some people here, we don't exactly know who they are. They were just standing, I got the sense they were trying to intimidate us. Yes, absolutely. Oh, what, what do you make of that? I mean, they were trying to intimidate us and that's what they do. That's the part of their, I mean, they're wearing masks. They say they want freedom and they want free expression, but they really don't. They want people to think like them. They don't want anybody to challenge it. And it's just like, no, this is my property. This is private property. This is a single family residential neighborhood. Like people don't want them here. You don't just get to intimidate people like that. That's not the right thing to do. I there's, I talked to a lot of people and they were all too scared to come on camera or even yeah. speak to the reporters. And I was just like, I'm not scared. I'm yeah. not going to be silenced because it's not right. You know, and yeah. I'm, I'm defending myself and I'm speaking up for everybody else who is too scared to speak up. And it, there is a lot of that. There is a lot of, that um, kind of intimidation factor because people don't want to be like retribution against yeah. them, you know? And is, is there a, a vitriol towards you because you are a landowner? I know there's, <laughs> I, 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 it sounds silly. You're trying to make the neighborhood nicer and mm -hmm. better for the community. But do you feel pushback and vitriol towards you because you're supposedly an evil landowner? I mean, this is my first time here. I'm sure these people are like mad at me right now. I, I haven't experienced that like from people in the neighborhood. Yeah. Um, you know, I've lived here my whole life and I've worked here my whole life and I've done good work for people. So like, no, nobody's mad at me, I would say, um, I think, people want a, they want a house here instead of a vacant piece of land but um yeah i mean the people here obviously didn't want me here um so yeah. what what can you expect though you know yeah.